Hi, uh, in this particular video I just want to go over two previous videos I did and what I actually achieved with uh, doing things the way I did with installing FTP and SFTP on the same machine. So I really want to demo how those two things work together, just plain old FTP and secure FTP. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll have the two links to both the FTP installation and the SFTP installation in this, the description area. Um, so right now I'm going to demo uh, how they actually work together. Um, so you, you'll notice um, in IIS here I have the FTP set up and I have these home directories uh, for each user, FTP user 010203 and this is in uh, IIS FTP and if I go to the C drive where it installed open SSH for SFTP uh, going into program files ICW so here's where I installed open SSH for SFTP going into the Etsy folder um, the password file uh, you'll notice I activated, uh, opening that up, I activated also the accounts for the NT users, FTP user 010203. So uh, what I also did was I also um, put, so if, if I look here um, and I do explore in IIS, you notice I installed all the home directories in C colon FTP root and that's for IIS if I flip back to what I did for OpenSSH there's this file system table file SF tab um, if I open that up you'll notice I also mapped uh, FTP root slash home uh, which is the users where all the users home directories are to FTP root so what that did was um, for the same NT user um, in my case named FTP user 010203 they actually share the same folder under both FTP and SFTP uh, which is what I really wanted to achieve um, so let me demo that here I'm going to bring up uh, FileZilla, which is just a FTP SFTP client. And I'm going to log in here via my SFTP account for FTP user 01. And because it's SFTP, I'm prompted for the SSH, um, I guess it's a certificate. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice here I'm, I'm in the uh, FTP account, uh, SFTP account I mean, uh, for user 01. So I'm going to just create a file here, FTP01.txt. And if I go to the file system here, you'll see there's the file I just created. Now I'm going to log in again using just plain old FTP. Uh, create a new tab, I'll say yes. So here's my FTP account and you'll see it logged in to the same place on the file system which is here. So I'm going to delete this file here and you'll see on the file system it's deleted and also if I flip back and forth to flip back to my SFTP tab and refresh here you'll see it disappeared. So um, just to demonstrate that the two videos that I did um, actually combines both FTP and SFTP and have them operate on the same folder uh, pointing to the same user um, so that's what I've achieved in those two videos and if you check out the description area of this video you'll find the links to those two other videos so if, if that's uh, what you want to achieve on one Windows box to actually serve up FTP and SFTP, um, one FTP running on port 21 and SFTP running on strictly port 22. Uh, that's how you can achieve that. Um, you'll notice there's slight differences. Uh, on IIS, 
it goes to the home directory and uh, the home directory or root directory it really isolates it to just the slash so I can't go above the home directory whereas in the SFTP it does have the slash home slash username folder um, but I also can't go beyond that or any of the things above if you follow uh, how I actually set, set up the permissions um, so in any case that's uh, what I did and that's what I achieved with those two videos uh, uh, definitely check them out uh, if you wanna do the same thing uh, on your Windows server okay thank you for watching Bye -bye.